Test 5, Part 4 You will hear an author talking about his time at school. For questions 24 to 30, choose the best answer A, B or C. When I was eight years old, my family followed the ancient family tradition and packed me off to a moderately expensive public school in Cumbria. I hated almost every day that I spent there. My very first term was a disaster, and I found it very difficult to settle in. Life in a boarding school can be almost impossible, especially if you aren't that happy at home, which I wasn't at the time. I did miss a nice home-cooked meal, though. The food at the school was dreadful. Apart from having to follow all the rules and time-honoured customs, you were never left alone, even for a minute. You were always with another boy at all times. I have always enjoyed my own company and a bit of solitude, so day-to-day -day life at school was very hard for me, although the other boys didn't seem to mind it. In the first term there, I developed a nasty cough. The school nurse said it was nothing and gave me some pills to take. However, a short time afterwards, playing rugby in a snowstorm, I suddenly felt I couldn't breathe properly and was taken to hospital with a nasty dose of bronchitis and pneumonia. As soon as I arrived at the hospital, they put me into a small room with another boy who was also very ill. He eventually died, and, I'm told, so did I, nearly. My main memory of my time in hospital was that the nurses on duty in the evening used to get together in my room and play Scrabble and chat. That they were keeping me awake with the light on and their talk didn't seem to worry them in the slightest. When I had recovered, I was sent home for a few weeks to convalesce, and so missed almost all the school term. When I eventually returned to school, I was sent to bed early because of my illness, and so finally I got to have a brief period to myself every day. Later in the term, I was allowed to go to the school library alone, which was another great improvement. The day I left school, the headmaster came up to me to say goodbye, and asked if it was a sad day for me. I told him that, in fact, it was the happiest day of my life. He said that he was sure that I would come to think of my time at the school in a completely different light. I told him that I was sure I would not. Although, of course, over the last thirty years I have had dreadfully unhappy days in my life, I found that my conclusions then, that there was nothing that could ever be so bad as my time in boarding school, were indeed proved to be quite correct. That is the end of part four.